everybody and welcome back to BattleBots Reborn Cup Season 4. We're excited to see you all here again. Welcome back. Last week had some pretty interesting fights, some pretty big hits, some pretty big flips. <laughs> so now we're going to check in on the bracket for this week to see what y'all are going to be excited for. We've got a lot of good action in this section, Section 2 of the bracket. We're going to see Son of Wyachi, the two-time champion, dethroned last year in a rematch against Brutus from the Prediction series. Our main event is going to have two big names, Witch Doctor, taking on Ice Wave. Someone's got to go, and someone's got to go early. And of course, don't forget about names like Duck and Surgeon General, also in this section of the bracket. But that is not where we're going to start. We're going to start somewhere else. Sam, what's our first fight of the night? Well, numero uno, we have Bombshell versus Voltronic. Bombshell's bringing out the multiple weapons this season again. What do you think he'll use in this match? I think his best bet in this match would be to use the horizontal spinner. Now, yes, he's facing a lifter, but the horizontal spinner gives him a big reach advantage. And I think he can utilize that to take shots at Voltronic without being in peril himself. Okay, well, Voltronic will be boosted by his qualifying cup set. Can that carry him in the next round? Of course not. He's got a whole new challenge on his hands, and he needs to not have any distractions. The cup set, great work, but he's got to focus on his next task. Okay, well, let's go down to the box, watch him fight. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's robot fighting time! In the Red Square, you're about to receive a beatdown so brutal that kids will need parental supervision when viewing it. It's Bombshell! In the Blue Square, like a moth to a lamp or a hoe to a douchebag guy, you'll be lulled to your doom by Voltronic! We're just about set for the start of this match, but before we begin, let's review the rules for this competition. As always, fights consist of a single three minute round where bots will attempt to destroy or immobilize their opponent. Should the match last longer than three minutes, our panel of judges will score it based off these categories. Four points for damage, five for aggression, and six for control and strategy. Judges have also been instructed to offer leniency towards bots with non-damaging weapons in the damage and aggression categories when possible. Pins cannot last longer than 11 seconds, and should a fight be halted due to a Fusura moment, it'll be restarted if the fight was stopped before the two minute mark, and sent to the judges if after the two minute mark. With all that said, let's get down to the box for this fight. Let the bot battle begin. And Voltronic pull off another upset here. He's underneath Bombshell at the start. And then puts his weapon the wrong way. Bombshell now underneath Voltronic. Very, very unfamiliar position for him. The bots reset themselves a little bit. It looks like it's going to be a little easy for Voltronic to get underneath Bombshell. Bombshell, is he getting a lot of damage with these, with these shots? There's a good one there on the right-hand side. As you can see, some puncture marks in the Voltronic. Both bots dangerously near the kill saws as well. Good shot again by Bombshell. Voltronic now struggling to get to that chassis and get to the wheels. This is the strategy we talked about earlier, Sam. Bombshell's doing really well. He's hitting him nice and hard. He's getting in a lot of hits. Voltronic really needs to get under him some more. We got to the backside there for a brief moment. Bombshell was just fast enough to get away. And again, he's clipping that right side. The reach is really paying off for Voltronic, who... Uh, pardon me, for Bombshell. Voltronic taking a shot on the spikes, and Voltronic trying to get in again. Oh, nice flip there. Kind of. <laughs> There's some a promising moment from Voltronic that we haven't seen yet in this fight, but now he's got smoke pouring out of that right side, as Bombshell just continues to chip away. Just a couple more hits, and Voltronic might be out. Voltronic is doing everything he can, but he's running out of time. He's got Bombshell facing the wall. Bombshell trying to create some distance and get that weapon back to facing Voltronic, which he does. There's a good shot by Bombshell. Voltronic on his last limb here. What can he do different that he hasn't done yet? Trying to get underneath Bombshell's weapon, trying to stay alive. At this point, it is damage control. He's doing everything he can to keep the contest going. Good shot by Bombshell again. He's very close. He's looking to finish it. Voltronic desperate to do something. Bombshell trying to get that last shot. 
And he knows he needs... Oh, and the spike strip does it for him, and Voltronic is out! Well, Sam, let's take a look at the replays, and sure enough, it was the horizontal spinner that Bombshell chose. It was the horizontal spinner that won him the fight. Voltronic did his best to stay underneath his weapon. He tried to get behind him, tried to do anything to get him lifted up, but Bombshell just kept hitting him, kept ramming into him. In the end, that's what won it. All right, well, welcome back, everybody. Next up, we have Lockjaw versus Rotator. Lockjaw's new build this year comes with one major flaw that hasn't been addressed. The new Lockjaw build does have a major flaw. We saw it a little bit in Predictions 2018. The way the wheels are built, they don't always touch the ground at the same time, or they're just not touching the ground enough. They sometimes sit in one place, spin around a little bit. Mobility is a massive thing in fights. He's going to need to figure that out or figure out how to combat the issue if it comes up. Well, how can Rotator expose Lockjaw and keep himself safe? Well, as long as he's aware of when it's happening, try and sneak to the side quickly, get the shots on the wheels, take a few off, should be just fine. Alright, well let's go take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's robot fighting time! In the red square, if you can't bear the pain, take something now to relieve it. You have Tyler no chance of escaping from Lockjaw! In the blue square, go hard or go home. Or take the third option, go back to the pits and recruit some teammates. You'll need them against Rotator! Let the fight begin for Rotato! Sam, that was my line. <laughs> Lockjaw getting those arms underneath Rotator. He's got him dancing around early. One would think that Rotator would have the up ground, the higher level for both his weapons. He's trying to use that lower disc at the moment. It's not doing a lot for him as he rides over the top of Lockjaw. Oh, a nice little lift by Lockjaw again. Now he's got the arm stuck underneath him. This is a vulnerable spot if Rotator can take advantage and he gets a wheel! Ooh, that was a nice hit there. That one came clean off. Great hit from Rotator. And sure enough, it was the bottom blade that I just said wasn't doing much. Now Lockjaw down to three wheels. Mobility's even going to be more of an issue than we thought going into the start of the fight. Rotator on the attack. Still going with that bottom blade and Lockjaw trying to... Use the arms. Lockjaw doing his best to try and defend his remaining wheels here. So far, so good. The arms more effective than I would have guessed they would be. As long as he can keep them in front of Rotator. He's easily able to get underneath. Yeah, Rotator's struggling trying to stay ahead. Oh, and look, another wheel! Another front wheel! Both of them now are gone and Lockjaw's down to two! Rotator taking control of this fight and scoring some crucial damage points, but there's a lovely lift and throw by Lockjaw. That was beautiful. And again, Lockjaw moving in with the arms. His little vertical spinner isn't doing much, but it's the arms right now that are helping him control this match, and he's doing it on two wheels. I think it's an evenly fought match so far. Could go either way. The remainder of the fight could be crucial here. Just over a minute left in it. Lockjaw again, going to slip those arms underneath. You know, he's almost moving better with two wheels than he would have with four. We haven't really seen him with his problem too much, so maybe the answer was just losing two wheels. Rotator trying to attack again, but he's starting to look a little sluggish. That could be some battery issues. Lockjaw trying to line up another attack, and he slips underneath Rotator and throws him on the kill saws. Nice use of weaponry. That could help get back a point in the damage category, and with the way this fight is going, it is going to be close to call. 30 seconds remaining now. And Rotator has definitely got some low battery problems. That looks a little bit like that for Lockjaw, too. His weapon's starting to slow down. Indeed it is. You can almost count the RPMs. Luckily for these two, the fight is almost over, but 
you gotta think someone needs one last good shot to maybe sway the judges their way. Is that even possible at this point? <laughs> well, there's some smoke from Lockjaw, so maybe Rotator has done it. As the clock hits zero, we're going to the judges. They're gonna have a tough time with this one. All right, Sam, let's take a look at the replays. Lockjaw taking a lot of damage, but he was able to control the fight, so this is gonna be very tough for the judges. Yeah, Rotator had a hard time staying on the ground, really. Every time he tried to attack, he would get on top of Lockjaw. Lockjaw had a really hard time not getting hurt. So it's kind of an even match. Well, the judges have made their decision, so let's go see what they said. The results from the judges are in. The winner, by a 25 to 20 decision, is... Lockjaw! And despite all the damage, Lockjaw finds a way to win. What an interesting result there. He moves on. That was a decent fight. Next up, Son of Wayashi versus Brutus. It's the second meeting in quick succession for these two after a Predictions 2018 match. That's right, they fought early on in the Predictions 2018 series, and it was a fairly basic win for Son of Wayachi, but there's some lessons there that Brutus could learn from, and maybe he can turn the fight around this time. Well, what does Brutus need to do to change his game plan? He needs to go at him. He was a little, uh, he was a little nervous and tentative last time out, and Son of Wayachi picked him clean, took off the weapon, flipped him over. I think if Brutus goes at him like we saw in the real-life fight, then he can probably flip Sal over, or at least cause a lot of damage, maybe even get underneath and take a wheel. Yeah. Well, let's go watch the drama, shall we? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's robot fighting time! In the Red Square, once upon a time, Mom of Wayachi and Dad of Wayachi had a baby. Twenty years later, Father wishes he pulled out after creating Son of Wayachi! In the blue square, roses are red, I'm not Farouk, my intros suck unless it's a fluke, like how this bot wins, it's Brutus! Let the bot battle begin. Let's see what Brutus has learned from that predictions match over a year ago. He's already taken a big scuff there on the right side, and Sal pops him again on the right. Couple more pops. Brutus is trying to get in there, but Son of Wayachi not really giving him any openings. The weapon spinning so fast and it's so hard to get close to that chassis. Brutus is having a hard time too trying to get underneath Son of Wayachi. Oh no, my God! There goes his weapon. Well, that's not going to help his case at all. Now he's just a wedge bot. Sal doing an exact uh, repeat of what he did a year ago. And there comes smoke from Brutus. Oh, this could be over quickly. The two-time champ is ready to get his title back, it looks like. And there's the finishing blow. Wow, that was amazing. All right, Sam, time for the replay. And, well, Brutus tried, but just... He couldn't do it. There was nothing Sal was going to let him do in this match. Yeah, it's true. Sal was just incredibly strong, and to top that off, Brutus couldn't get under him to get any good hits in. He just couldn't get too close. And the two-time champ coasts through to the round of 32. Well, we've seen some decent fighting tonight. Let's check in on some of the other ones that are fully shown on Patreon, but highlighted here. While Section 2 of the bracket had a couple big names that were ready to produce, they had a lot of bots where it was unknown how they were going to perform, two of which went up against each other, Kilowamp versus Duck. The two spent the whole three minutes slamming into each other, but it was Duck that got a few lifts in, and it was enough to give him a slim margin victory. With Lucky's improvements this season, he's coming in as one of the favorites to win the Giant Nut, and his matchup to start off the campaign was Tantrum. It didn't take Lucky long to find an opening and flip Tantrum, who was unable to recover. It's been ages since Surgeon General was in the final back in Season 1. Looking to rekindle some of that spark, he went up against Endgame. Early on, both bots showed signs of promise. 
but it was Surgeon General that got the crucial shots to destroy Endgame's weapon. However, he could not finish the fight because Endgame was too low to be hit. The fight ultimately went the distance, but Surgeon General got the nod. And finally, Sub-Zero entered his third matchup this season, looking to take out Gold Digger. Sub-Zero had a couple nice flips throughout the course of the fight, but it was Gold Digger who had much better shots, constantly swinging away with that pickaxe and eventually knocking Sub-Zero out. To see these fights in their entirety, plus many more throughout the course of this season, head over to our Patreon link in the description and pledge to the dollar tier. For now, let's get back to the main event. Last fight of the night, Witch Doctor versus Ice Wave. Two big names with two new builds. That's right, two new builds for these machines. Witch Doctor now a larger machine and a more powerful weapon. Should do very good this year. We're talking about powerful weapons, we have Ice Wave in the arena. This new build is scary. Yeah, it's incredibly powerful, but it comes at price. It does, and we saw it a little bit in his qualifying match against Radioactive. He got a couple big hits in, but also seemed to lose his balance and pop up off the ground. If someone else bigger than him takes advantage of that, we could see him flipped over. Well, who will win this colossal clash? Well, Witch Doctor is a big bot, but kind of a sluggish bot, so I think this one's going to go to Ice Wave. Um, it might not be the easiest, though. Okay, well, let's find out if Nick's right. Probably not. <laughs> Introducing, in the red square, front row, prepare yourselves, you may get some shrapnel souvenirs. Here to tear down walls like Berlin 91, it's Witch Doctor! In the blue square, sticks and stones may break your bones, but metal bars will leave you in shards. Get inside, turn off the lights, and stay out of sight from Ice Wave! Let the bot battle begin. The main event for tonight, Witch Doctor versus Ice Wave. This is gonna be a fun one, surely. Both bots taking time to get their weapons up to speed. Taking a lot of time to get their weapons up to speed. There's a first little clash, and Ice Wave's weapon stopping immediately as Witch Doctor's on the attack. He's got him cornered, too. Good spot for Witch Doctor, he needs to cause some damage. Maybe trying to get up to speed wasn't the smartest decision. Ice Wave with a couple pops towards the side of Witch Doctor, and he gets one of the wheels! That'll change the fight, another big shot, this one might be over already! And it is over! Wow. Well, that was quick! Alright, Sam, it was a quick main event, let's take a look at the replays, though. It looked like Ice Wave was struggling after the first couple hits, but all of a sudden, Witch Doctor was out. Yeah, I guess it was just a nicely timed hit for Ice Wave to be able to get that wheel off, and then just a couple more hits in that same spot to deal enough damage to the chassis to win. Alright, so it's Ice Wave taking the main event. He moves on, so I... What did I say again? Was I right or wrong? He's never right. It's okay. We yeah, can continue. Yeah, that's fair enough. For all of us here uh, at BattleBots Reborn Cup, I'm the Branko. I'm the Sam. We'll see you next time. Bye!